Now then guys, welcome to Swans Gaming, I'm Luke and this is episode 4 of season 3 of my Leicester City Let's Play. Last time out we lost 4-2 against uh, yeah, Brighton. Uh, we'll 2-0 up to so losing 4-2 and it was absolutely woeful. But if you have a quick look on screen, I've changed things around a little bit. Well, not really a little bit, I've just changed the tactic, tweaked it a little bit and we beat Arsenal 2-1. Uh, they scored within the first minute and then we got two late goals and I was jumping for joy around the room. Uh, probably should have done the big game instead of trying to do the little game thinking I was going to get a victory out of it. Um, we drew 3-3 against Huddersfield. It was alright. It was a draw. It would do. Then we beat Stoke 2-0 and then we came from behind to draw 3-3 against uh, Watford and we've got a habit of scoring a goal and then literally instant, con instantly conceding from when we were coming from behind. I believe they, this we did this the other way around. Actually, they scored and we scored late, but it is what it is. So we've got Tottenham in this game in this uh, episode, and I'm trying to get through it a little bit quickly. It's going to be a short episode because I don't have much time to get this video done, and it's coming out today as well. So anyway, so Tottenham game tactics. Let's have a quick look at the team. See what I've been doing. Um, Fellaini's been playing as a ball wing midfielder on support. I may, I don't know whether to put him in the centre, and I might do that actually. I'm changing it already. Not good on support, and then Hendricks can be a central midfielder on defend. Ball wing midfielder on defend, maybe. Maybe then put him on support. Uh, I don't know. I might just stop playing around with what I've been doing because it's been working well. I'm going to put them back. Oh, so indecisive sometimes. Ball winning midfielder. On support. Right, okay. We've got Tottenham. At the minute, I've got it on control, mixed passing, retain the possession, not looking for the area, like there's no point, and kind of exploit the middle. I have been, when we've got the, um, when we've got the results, I've dropped it to counter and played the more direct football and we've not been retaining possession, but we've scored. I may just leave it as this and see how it goes. If we concede an early goal, which no doubt we will, I'll change it to counter and we'll go just for the long ball. Um, Tejan's uh, coming on the right. Um, Trent Alexander-Arnold's injured. He's out, I think it's two weeks, he's out for 10 to 12 days. Got injured in an under-21s game for England. We've got Maguire and Gibson pairing up at the centre back again Chilwell's come in um, Kazawa he's I'm not putting him on the bench he's injured so there's no point in me having him on the bench uh, Holtby, Hendricks and Fellaini as we've just seen uh, Shobi who's our top goal scorer with 8 goals uh, Vardy is a defensive forward and Ineacho. Um on the bench we've got Mares and Gray coming back both from injuries Mares hasn't played a game for us yet this season um, so it'd be nice to get him back but how is it going to fit in with this formation I don't know so he may be in sold in January but we'll see because I think I need another striker so let's get into this game and Yanazai poor Yanazai as well he's, I bought him in and he's not, not done the job I've changed the tactic he's now not getting in the team and I think that was a big part of it as well with Mahrez being injured Yanazai was a good impact player when he was struggling bring him off Without Mahrez this season, the the four two three one just hasn't worked. Uh, you look at Tottenham's team, I'm a little bit scared, but we're at home. Home form hasn't been great, but we'll give it a go. Um, go out there and impress me, that's what I'm going to tell them. Didn't really work. Let's go to the tunnel, I'm sending the assistant, I don't want to do the tunnel. Interview, and the game kicks off. Two minutes in, we've had a shot because they've had two shots. We'll take this for now. They've had more possession, so probably being on control is not really working, retaining possession, but we'll give it time. They have got what looks like a better team, but we have done well against the bigger teams in this series. Um, I think shows the league table. We have, obviously, you can see it on the left-hand side. We're in seventh place as well, so with them kind of decent running results we've been having we've shot up the league table as well which is good to see it's where we want to be going because I was very negative in the last episode and I didn't know where I was going to be going with this 
but we picked the ball up. Chilwell was playing it backwards. Long ball over the top. Just found any actual Go on. Can he slot it in? No, he can't. But is it knocked out for a corner? No, it's a goal kick. It was just a terrible miss. I think we need another striker. Um, we've got Silva, who's on the bench as well. Um, he's injured. He got an injury. He got a knock. So that's why he's not starting. But he's scored a few goals, but he hasn't kind of lit up the team like I thought he was. He's so-called the best striker in the team and not looked it so far. But they're on the attack here and they've played the counter from a corner and we go 1-0 down. And this was all from our corner with Jamie Vardy losing it in the box. And they've just pumped it up forwards. We couldn't get back. And they've just switched it out wide. And... Deli Alley's there completely unmarked. We've gone 1 0 down. Not good. But we can come back. I'm not going to panic too much. Jamie Vardy's injured now, though, so panic may set in soon. So let's put him on silver. We may have to change the formation at some point because I may get another injury. I'm going to put him as a complete forward on support on attack. Why not? Let's go. Don't want to change it too much. Apart from, I'm going to go attacking. That Jamie Vardy injury is not good. But we've got an attacking. Ben Gibson's there. It is 1 1 from a free kick. And he's done that a couple of times this season so far. He's just been lurking on the back post when it comes to free kicks and Holtby brings it in Maguire heads it to Gibson who then slots it in it's a good finish good link up play by the defenders we'll have one assist and one goal from the defensive pairing and Iniacho has now picked up an injury as well which is obviously not too bad because they've got Gray and they've got Mahrez on the bench <coughs> excuse me um, on the bench so we could potentially go back to the 4-2-3-1. I don't really want to go back to that formation because it hasn't worked. But if I have to, I, I will. Um, let's see what we're going to say. What we're going to say to the team. It's time for everyone to dig in and give it everything. Yeah, go on. Oh, I thought that would have inspired me a bit more, but obviously not. And that bit over to the team manager. Didn't make any difference. Let's go. I'm going to keep any actual on. I'm going to just see how it goes. I could always bring on Mares as a central player, like a central attacking midfield player, and have play like the Christmas tree formation as Christmas is coming up. Um, and I have two attacking midfielders instead of two strikers. That could potentially work. Or I could just bring him on and play him as an inside forward on the right hand side and see how that goes probably not well if I'm playing but 60 minutes gone I don't really want to make a sub just yet any actor is injured so that is worrying me because I'm, I'm running out of strikers and I play with a two striker tactic not good um, so what am I going to do any actor is going to come off Mahrez hasn't played he's not Obviously, proper match fit. Gray's not really played, but I want to get Mahrez on. Can he play as a striker? What's his? Let's have a look. Play as a false nine. Trakatista. Again, he's got the skills to play as one. What about stick him as a poacher? No, advance forward. Apart from heading, he can play as an advance forward. So. Mahrez, you're coming on as a striker. Let's see what he does as that. You never know. He might find his new position. So he's definitely got the stats to play as a striker. Gerard to Hendricks. Shobi's there. We've got the goal. It is 2-1. We are ahead. Now what do I do? Do I still stay attacking? Or do I drop it down? I may just stay. Just, just keep it how it is. We've got Ndidi to come on as well. Um, Ndidi's been kind of dropped out the side a little bit because Hendricks and Flaney both wanted to get like time on the pitch. Ndidi got his red card and he hasn't been playing that great this season. So 
giving these guys a bit of a chance. But I may bring in may bring him on. Seeing him some of Hendricks' conditioning isn't looking too great. But can we grab another goal here? Hopefully Myers picks the ball up. His first contribution really. Swinging it in on his left. There's no one in the box for him to get the cross on. I may make a sub. Let's bring some fresher legs on into the uh, kind of midfield area. Hendrick, oh no, Flaney's not having a bit of a poor game. Let's bring him on as a box to box midfielder. Hopefully, this works. We've picked the ball up. I should really drop this down to counter or defensive or something now. I'll see what this attack goes on. Silver's picked the ball up. Can he find Myers is in the box? He can't. And Myers is there. He's picked a goal up. It is 3 1. This tactic's working. And I'm liking the look of maybe putting Myers as a striker. Oh. It's nice to see me winning again. Silver with a cross. Myers. It's just a tap in for him. That's easy. And. I'm going to leave it on attacking. I'm not going to change anything. Um, do I want to make the change? Yeah, I'll make the change still. Um, if we lose from here, it is going to be heartbreaking and we'll have another 3-3 free, free draw on the cards. If they score, no, we didn't. Lopez with another save. He's been a great signing for me this season as well, Lopez. Um, he has kept Schmeichel out of the team. He played that one game and had a sh shocker, so put Lopez back in but Holtby's won the ball back and he's had a great game as well Holtby has against his former team and can we hold off four minutes of added time 3-1 and it's just ticked away and then we're going to get the win against Tottenham um, that's going to put us up into fifth place as well um, ex things are looking good I'm excited now I was really really like Negative in the last episode. Um, I think I found the formation I want to play. The players are starting to gel. And it's full time. We have finished. We have beat Tottenham. And I've just been playing this here. With the mic like that. So you're probably. Not going to have heard a word I've just said. In that game. So I'm going to have to have a listen. And hopefully you can hear me. And. Not good. I'll come to that anyway. I'll just finish the episode anyway. Fingers crossed you're going to get a decent sound out of this. But I'm very, very happy with what's just happened. Passionately say, well done, lads. A nice victory. Can't believe that. That is looking good. Obviously, we played first. It's moved us into fifth place. Everyone else around us now has to uh, perform. Um, Vardy is out to four to five weeks. I'm not worried now. We've got Myers as the new striker. Iniacho is out for three days. Um... Very, very good. Good game. Good win for us as well. So, fingers crossed. The sound isn't too bad, considering the mic was all the way down there. If it is bad, then there's going to be no episode today. Um, and I'll have to do the uh, Crystal Palace episode. But that's going to be it for now, guys. Um, I'll catch you in the next episode. Um, if it's all work fine... We've got Man City coming up. We've got Liverpool coming up. I want to try and get the season through quite quick. Um, it's starting to drag on a little bit. So I don't know whether to do the Man U game and play a big chunk. We'll see how it goes. It's either going to be the Liverpool game or the Man U game. Could be either. I've got plenty of time to do some recording tomorrow. So that could work. So if you've watched this, thanks guys. And I'll catch you in the next episode. See you in a bit. Bye.